You're watching Saki World. In this video, I'll show you constructing a bootleg action figure for one of my side projects, Milk Saggers Workshop. This piece is based off an of early 90s deck series by Real with photos from Bryce Knights. These are all the tools I use to construct the packaging. I will put links to these products in the description of this video for you to check out. First up is the Exacto paper cutter. Then we have some 50 point craft card stock. You can purchase thinner stuff. I like the quality feel of this. It feels sturdier than uh, the normal action figure backing cards you might find in the store. Sticker paper can be purchased for thermal, um, excuse me, uh, inkjet or laser printers, either one, whatever you have, you can buy sticker paper for either printer. Finishing touch tools, hole punch, corner rounder, glue, so blisters, and you know, this is something we've created with these tools here. Um, this is a mock-up for a card I'm gonna construct in this video and show you the process of using all these tools here at the table. I start in Adobe Photoshop creating the art file in a size that I have predetermined the card's going to be. This card is gonna be fairly large, almost a full eight and a half by 11. It's almost gonna fill up this entire sheet of card stock most action figures that you buy at the store are around six by nine inches in size but since i'm putting four lego figures on this card i needed a bigger card just to accommodate the space so you'll see this white border around that's going to get trimmed off as well as this the back side of the card a lot of times i'll print the back of the card slightly larger than the front to accommodate for miscuts but you'll learn that as you create these and go on that the better you are at using the paper cutter, the less defects you'll have in lining things up with the front and the back as you flip the card. So let me show you applying these to the card. Okay, so I have the front of the card here, just a standard stickered paper. It's gonna peel it off here in the corner and since I'm making a video, I'm gonna look like a fool and not be able to get the corner up here. Okay, so you just peel it off. And then you just try with all your might to get it on here as square as possible. I like to just line up one corner at the bottom and then try to eye it all the way to the top. And then just commit. I never get it on completely square and that's why you'll see when I put the back on that's where the black black comes in handy this little buffer zone so let me peel this back off Try to get this one down as square as possible. Okay. Okay, so we got the front and back. You'll see I have a little gap up here. And it's okay, I kind of have a little gap at the top too. But it's inevitable. Now we're gonna cut the excess off. I like to put the paper cutter on the floor. It's more, more level. So I just eyeball this. Kind of use the edge of the cutter as my guide. 
Try to square it up. And just start cutting each corner. I like to cut the front of the card first because that's the, the card that everyone sees. If you turn it over on the back, you'll see where my mistake is. And there's white on the edge here. But if I cut off more on the front, I'm gonna lose some real estate that I don't wanna lose. But I have a way to fix this. So I'll show you that. The real card on the right, mock up on the left. So now we just need to round the corners, hole punch, give it the the real product look. These rounded corners go a long way. And then we'll dry fit the blisters and glue it down. This corner rounding tool has a specific millimeter uh, um, radius I guess you would call it um, I can't remember it off the top of my head but I will put it in the description um, if you buy it too small if you buy too small of a millimeter it, it doesn't create a nice um, rounded corner it's more of a sharper corner and, and it looks bad so this was the second one I purchased just trial and error finding the right one these these corner rounding tools leave marks sometimes, but it's just part of the process. And most people appreciate the handmade aspect of it, but. So you'll see, it makes a pretty nice edge and it gets through this thick cardstock pretty well. This is the fun part where the packaging comes to life, kind of. So. Tommy, your edge good. Slow go. Jam. Pizza needs to. This card doesn't have a whole lot of space to put this sombrero punch. I could have moved the real logo down a little bit more, but I really didn't have a lot of space for the logo to go with the blisters. A lot of times I'll wait till the very end after I have the figures already placed on the card to punch the whole, the whole punch um, because if you notice on professional toys, they strategically place the hole punch to 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 be in a spot where it off balances with the the weight of the toy. So when it's hanging on the on the rack in the store, it's not you know sh the card's not sitting sideways and things like that. So if you wanna if you're making something and you glue the figures down first before you do this, you can kind of figure out with your finger which is the maybe the best place to punch the card. Um, my OCD, I just love to punch the card in the center um, because I just figure most people might not be hanging this anyways, but um, I'll wait till the end anyway. So now I'll bring over these figures, Lego guys. Laying out the composition for these is sometimes really challenging, trying to figure it out, figure out how to fit everything and where to put things. But 
this is what I came up with. So, this is what it's gonna pretty much look like. So, gluing these down, I use the Loctite GO2 or go to glue. It's clear. It it doesn't adhere really fast. It's um and it doesn't tend to discolor the ink on the card. Um super glue, gorilla glue tends to discolor the card. And um I also depending on how tightly the figure fits in the blister. I'll glue the figure to the card, which you won't find in normal toys. The kid would be pretty mad if he couldn't get the toy off the card. But these aren't being opened, so just securing the toy to the card helps. Here's the figures stuck on the board. So next step down the blisters. blisters. Just put a small bead around the edge. Like so. I'm gonna stick down the top two at the same time so they line up. Make sure everything looks straight. And then I use uh, Betty Crocker Super Moist Cake as a weight. When you put the weight on there, the glue squashes out on the sides. So, box of Q-tips and just go along the edge and just wipe up any extra glue. All right, it's all glued down. Now I'll punch the hole on the top. It's pretty much center weighted pretty much right in the center so we'll just I'm just gonna punch a hole right in the center a little crooked but oh well there it is now for this white line that I have showing on the top, I'm just gonna use a Sharpie marker.
Man. White's all gone on the edge. Just a little sharpie on the corner. Takes the white away. So. That's it. Hey, thank you for watching. If you want to check out more of our action figures, we have an Instagram account at Milksaggers. If you like this sort of content, consider subscribing. I appreciate it, and I hope you have a great day. Take care.